everybody, it's Lori. Welcome to my studio. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to do something that is kind of a lot like what I've done in the past with also a little twist. So I'm going to do a balloon kiss and I'm going to do that on this 10 by 10 canvas that I have here. It's all taped on the back and the push pins are in there. My paints are mixed, but I also have a couple of wine glasses here. And I want to use what's on the balloons to put on the bottom of the wine glasses so that I can then put resin over them once they're cured. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So today's the day. We're going to see how this goes. For our colors, I have golden iridescent gold fine, and this is in the fluid acrylics. And I've got all my paints mixed with Floetrol and Liquitex Gloss Medium. They are a mound on a mound thickness. So they're kind of on the thicker side. This is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. I love this color. I actually love all these colors. That's why I use them so much <laughs> anyway this here is golden ultramarine violet and it's not a metallic so I added a little bit of violet sparkle bling it mica powder from color art it's an interference color you can see it looks white but when it dries on the painting and it's shimmers around you're gonna see a purple hue so I think it should go well inside of this other uh, purple here I wanted to have some bling and I got some bling I don't know if you can see it but you will when it's dry <laughs> and I will show you this when it's dry okay so what I'm gonna do is I've got my balloons ready and I've got some tools in case I want to doodle a little bit because I love to doodle in my paintings too and um, I'm gonna put some music on and let's get busy <laughs>
So here's the wet results. I love these colors. They're my favorites. And this is just a pretty little painting. I love all the detail. Look at that there in the corner. It looks like, almost looks like a little dove. Pretty cool. And I'm pleased with how the cups turned out too. I'll show you those in a minute. snuck a piece of a peak at the other side I didn't want to leave it for very long though because I don't want it to move so I will show you when it's dry and then we'll put some resin on these things so here we are dried, cured, and ready for resin. They dried beautifully. Check the glasses out, the wine glasses. I love the way the light shines through the glass. And this side is just so pretty, which is the side you'll see basically when they're sitting upright. It's just so cool. I'm going to put some resin on there to protect it, keep it there. I have my resin mixed already. It's a food safe and heat resistant. Not that that's going to be needed, but um, it's important to have a food safe resin at least when you're putting anything on any kind of an item that's going to be used for food or drink. So I will show you the quick application of the resin and then I will show you how they look tomorrow when the resin is set. I'm going to use my heat gun a little bit to pop the bubbles that are coming up to the top of this cup of resin. This is more resin than I'll need for this little project, but I have another project going at the other end of the table. I don't want to get too much on the glasses because I don't want it to be drippy and drip down on the rest of the glass as it's setting. So I'm just going to run this around over the painted surface and then just run my fingertip around here. I've never done this before in glasses, so this is new to me, but um, I'm pretty sure that this is going to work out just great because it's kind of how I do my paintings, putting the thin layer, thinner layer on the side so it doesn't have a whole lot of drips. That should dry beautifully. I'm going to pop the bubbles in it with the heat gun. And I'll babysit them for a little bit to make sure that the resin doesn't separate on the paint or leave little bald spots after it's sat for a little bit. And um, that's about it. I'm going to put it on the painting at the same time. I still think I'm going to do a wine butler to go with this. Um... We'll see how that goes. And um, I may videotape that too. But right now I'm in the middle of so many other projects that I won't be doing that today. Oh, 
some of those bubbles out before I spread it around in the painting. I've got a bigger workspace here. I love how the resin brings out the colors and the shimmer in the paintings. You know, it can be challenging using resin sometimes, but I don't know. That's all I've used. I did do a few with varnish last week that I really liked too, so I may do more with varnish going forward. We'll see. I just really like the look of the resin on the paintings. Now that I've got it spread across the whole top, looking at it sideways in the light and in all different angles, you got to really have bright light for this just to make sure I haven't missed anything. And again, I'm just running some of it down the sides. As long as they're covered, I don't need a lot of resin on the sides as long as there's no bad spots. That's all it really needs. Look at those paints shimmer. Now with the resin on there, you can start to see the shimmer a little bit in the purple where I put the artist or the color art mica powders in there. So tomorrow when it's dry I will hold it up and show it to you in the light so you can really see it and how it looks shimmering in the light. Okay? That's it. I'll see you tomorrow.